Okay, this is the review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Ultimate Bumblebee Battle Charged Edition for Revenge of the Fallen. Very similar to the first one. Uh, it does make different noises and sounds. Uh, has different phrases from the movie. And has a flip down battle mask, which I think is the coolest part of it. And here there is in the front of the box. And then on the back of the box, you can show some pictures of uh, some of the stuff he can do. Fire his launcher automatically and so on. And uh, it says, Battle Charge Bumblebee, Ultimate Bumblebee, Movie Hero comes to life at the push of a button. The biggest robot star in the world is back. Bumblebee is ready to roll against the Decepticons with motion-activated motion lights and sounds. His robot and vehicle modes have been updated with the latest in movie-accurate detail, making them the most awesome and cooler robot than ever. And there he is in his robot mode. I've got him compared next to uh, Masterpiece 20th Anniversary Prime. Uh, you can see he's a little bit taller. He's about 14 inches tall. Prime's about 12 inches tall. Very, very big figure. And he makes a lot new motions and sounds uh, than the first one did. He makes a little bit different. Does not the same style, but does a little bit different sounds. You can his chest right there. It responds to motion and sound, so if you move in front of him, you can start doing stuff. As you can see, his fingers are individually articulated, all three on the index fingers and stuff. And the Thumb can move so he can make a good fist. I just have a hand. Now you're supposed to be able to talk to him and tell him, you know, Bumblebee, do something. He's supposed to be voice activated. It's kind of hard to get down. It's got a big, heavy footprint. Every time I keep to push the button, it keeps turning him over a little bit, so. All right, Bumblebee. Now you get a bit of close up of his head and his lights under there. Okay, now I'm going to show you the best feature I think this toy updated, besides obviously the vehicle mode and different speech. It updated his head. And what it did is it put a battle mask inside of his head that you can just flip down, which is actually really cool. Um, you just basically open the top of his head. Okay, and then this battle mask comes out. You got to kind of be careful, it pops off sometimes. Like it just popped off now. But you just pop it back on and then have this forward. This comes off on like a little hinge to cover his face like that. And then you have him with his battle mask. So there you have him in his robot mode. His car mode is pretty much the same as the other Ultimate Bumblebee. I'm not going to get too into that. I will show you the robot mode though and the kind of car mode mode. Get him folded down a little bit. Get his legs together and his arms together. We're starting to get them there. Just got to do the front. And there's his alt mode. Nice Chevy Camaro. Uh, love the new update. Um, he does have some sounds in alt mode. He'll honk his horn. Engine sounds when you press his hood. You got to have his wheels locked in and his hood make sure it's fully put together before this works. And sometimes you can shut off the off switch during transformation. Got some engine sounds and a, and a horn. That's about it. The lights light up in the front. 
and in the back. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. We're at, let me give you a quick comparison shot with Movie Leader Prime. That's Movie Leader Prime. That's Ultimate Bumblebee. You can see how big he is. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.